Meine Damen und Herren, willkommen to The Gun Show. The show watched and adored by millions around the world every day in a sinister alternate history timeline. Today we're taking on Wolfenstein, the new order, to show you easy ways to unlock perks, smart ways to wield your weapons, and sick as hell ways to kill Nazis. But first, a word from our protagonist. Hey kids, William Blaskowitz here. All the gameplay you see in this fine American video was captured on Uber difficulty. Why? Because f Nazis, that's why. Also, because the host is probably trying to compensate for some kind of childhood trauma. And I think I'm gonna be sick. Is this normal? It's just nerves. I'm gonna teach you a trick. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. Okay, thank you, BJ. That's quite enough. It's uh, time for you to get back to battle, buddy, so we can kick off this episode of The Gun Show. The first gun you get into your meaty ham hands is this submachine gun, which we will talk about in this video for an amount of time proportional to the amount of time you get to use it in the game. And we're done. Better to spend your time with the assault rifle anyway. The single shot mode is great for popping domes, and it's got better iron sights to aim down, though honestly, BJ Blaskowitz is so crazy accurate that you don't really need to zoom in as long as you can put the head inside of the parentheses. p p p p m d Make sure to score at least a few ADS headshots, though, because it'll help you unlock a perk that makes headshots even more damaging. It doesn't matter much with these chuckleheads, but you might appreciate it once the big boppers come a-knockin'. That's kind of how most perks are, not hugely impactful, but nice little rewards nonetheless. If you're playing on uber difficulty, like a boss, you should try to pick up as many perks as you can in the early going. Stealth kill all five dudes in this particular section of the trenches and you unlock the ability to throw knives. Like a boss. Find isolated soldiers and sprint slide straight at them, blasting all the way, and earn faster sprint speed while dual wielding. Like a boss. These small bonuses can make the difference between slaughtering uber Nazis and getting so dead tired that you just gotta lie down and take a nap. Like a kitten. All right, these oldie timey weapons are all well and good, but let's fast forward to the swinging 60s and get a taste for the guns that come in new zesty orange flavor. The pistol has a nice rat a tat burst fire thing going on, and when you're dual wielding, it's more like a submachine gun than two individual pistols, so don't be afraid to whip these out in a pinch. Of course, the real utility you get out of your sidearm is thanks to the silencer. Stealth in wolfy times is never a necessity, but it's always a good idea to at least try to pop commanders silently before getting loud. If you can't dome them with the pistol, a few quick body shots will do, or you can hit them where it really hurts. In. The. Butt. The only thing Nazis hate more than a knife in the butt is traffic duty outside the senior center. Those crotchety old geezers will do literally anything to get out of a ticket. One of the mainstays of the Nazi arsenal is the assault rifle, and it's easy to see why. It's accurate, holds a lot of bullets, and is light enough for a severely atrophied coma patient to carry one in each hand. This is your go-to for popping in and out of cover with that sweet lean mechanic and playing peekaboo, I killed you with your enemies. When you go dual wield full auto, the fire rate gets so intense that enemies who aren't immediately shredded to bits often get staggered and then shredded to bits. And once you get the rocket launcher attachment, Achtung, baby! Pop two shots into a Super Soul Dotten and watch the jibs fly. Alternatively, you could just hit these hulking goons with the I don't have time for this shit maneuver, in which you just walk out the door of this sewer chamber or just hop on this train and drive away, leaving the big lugs to contemplate their own horribly mutilated existence in peace. Who says BJ is only capable of violence? It could be the fact that he's the biggest goddamn Nazi killing machine ever to walk the planet Earth. Oh, right, everybody. And speaking of violence, perhaps the most badass action hero -y gun in Wolfman Stein is the shotgun. More specifically, two of them. Blam -ba blam blamming your way through Berlin with these babies is satisfying on so many levels. Oral. Visual. Destructual. Dismemberal. Like with the assault rifles, dual-wield full auto can stagger tougher enemies like the shotgun-toting heavies, but you gotta go for the face and hold down both triggers with regular ammo. 
Unless you can isolate an enemy to pull this move one-on-one, -on -one, though, it's best to work that lean. Or better yet, use shrapnel shells to bounce blast them from around the corner. Of course, you can get bounce blasted yourself, which is one of the more frustrating ways to die in the game. To relieve such frustrations in a healthy way, I suggest finding an inanimate object and shooting the crap out of it. You put a Nazi on the moon. Fuck you, moon. If you need to aim at something significantly smaller than the nearest celestial body, then the marksman is where it's at. At first, it's pretty refreshing to be aiming through proper sight and picking off Nazos from a distance, but I don't know. The thing I always appreciated about BJ was his personal touch. The way he gets right up close to you during combat. The way he tucks people in for a nap. The way he's so good with animals. The way he makes my coffee just the way I like it. And the way he takes the time to look, I mean really look, at what's inside someone's heart. That's why I was thrilled to discover what the Marksman's alternate fire is. Now, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I'm totally going to spoil it right now. It's lasers! Pew, 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 zap, 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 zap. Lasers can kill dudes, for sure, but they're also really helpful for taking out the big mechanical bad guys. Like the really nasty ones that just march rigidly out of your nightmares and are getting really close now, so maybe you should run. Oh, God, run! <laughs> Ah, uh, just kidding. We all know the kinds of nightmares BJ has are the ones where he has to poop real bad, and the chamber pot is two-dimensional. Fortunately, you don't have to wait until your double order of Moonrakers shows up to have some laser fun, thanks to the trusty Laser Kraftwerk. It's pretty good at damaging robots, very good at jibbing meat bags, and ultra good at financing college for the children of Nazi fence makers and chain rights. The various upgrades you pick up along the way all help a little bit, though I think the best one might be the sight that auto-targets your enemies and sends charged-up blasts zipping out in multiple directions. This move does consume a ton of ammo, but it also makes it easy to unlock the perk that requires you to empty a fully charged laser craft work without missing. Alright, that about covers the weapons you'll be wielding, so I'll just leave you with a few do's and don'ts for surviving on uber difficulty. Like a boss! Do! Make sure your guns are all fully loaded for dual wielding before going into any fight. Don't. Stay in one place for too long, waiting for the Nazis to come and overwhelm you. Do! Sleep in the safe house every chance you get to earn some health upgrades. Don't. Make the mistake of sliding to be slick when you could just sprint and be safe. Do! Attempt long distance knife kills while yelling, FROM DOWNTOWN! Don't. Get cocky, it's gonna get rocky. Do! Eat dog food when low on health, because your regeneration actually makes it worth 20 health points instead of just 4. Don't. Eat dog food, because you're a human man, goddammit, where's your sense of pride? That's it for the gun show, folks. Hope you had some fun. Leave some tips of your own in the comments and help us all avoid the fate of a horrid alternate timeline something something joke. Damn, I really thought I finished this script last night.